Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing and today's video I want to talk about fluorocarbon. Uh, you know what I'm not going to do in this video is I'm not going to compare different brands. I'm going to talk to you about what brands I like to use on the King's Landing Sport Fishing Tierra. I'm going to talk more about why I use fluorocarbon and the various different uh, you know weights or tests of fluorocarbon that I use on my boat because I typically use about four different tests of, uh, of fluorocarbon on my boat. So first of all when we think about fluorocarbon, first question I get is, well, why do you use, why do you use fluorocarbon? Um, what's the big deal? Why don't you use uh, monofilaments? So I'll start by saying when I lived in Vancouver and fished on the Pacific, I was fishing in lots of very dirty water. And full honesty, I didn't use much fluorocarbon then. I used a lot of monofilaments. I didn't see the, I didn't see the need. As, I've, uh, as I fish more and more in the Great Lakes, and as the Great Lakes have changed over the years, the, the one uh, common thing around a lot of the Great Lakes, but in varying uh, differences, is the water is becoming more and more clear. And that's when I really feel that you need to use fluorocarbon. Uh, fluorocarbon uh, dissipates uh, or is uh, much more, um, you know, called stealth in the water um, versus monofilament that you can, often, uh, you can often see. You know, I've actually seen underwater videos with uh, monofilament where you can see that line really quite clearly um, fluorocarbon uh, is, is definitely not as bad. Um, when we think about fluorocarbon also versus monofilament, there are definitely some differences. Uh, monofilament has a lot more stretch. Fluorocarbon does not. Fluorocarbon is much, uh, is much, much stiffer. Um, fluorocarbon is also, I'd say, uh, much more uh, abrasion resistant, especially the brands that I use and I'm going to talk about in a second. But really, the number one reason why I use fluorocarbon it is for that stealth, uh, that stealth presentation. Um, for me, um, majority of my rods do have fluorocarbon on them in some way, shape, or form. Uh, typically, it's either tied on as a leader, which I'll talk about in a moment when it comes to my spoon presentation, or it's, um, you know, the fluorocarbon is part of the leader, uh, whether it be on my fly or my re meat rig or so on and so forth. So let's dive right in, talk about the various different applications that I use fluorocarbon. And, and the brands I use. First of all, I'd say when it comes to the brands I use, I'm using one of these two. I'm either using the, the Seaguar or the Torpedo. The Torpedo uh, only comes in 20 pound test, uh, which is why I use that one for uh, you know one of my applications. And then for all the other applications I use, I use the Seaguar STS Salmon. And I'll talk a little bit about that one in a moment. But let's start off with the Torpedo fluorocarbon, the 20 pound test. And when do I use this? I'm going to say I use this really in two or three different applications on the boat. Uh, the torpedo is 20 pound test. So when I use 20 pound test, I'm using it, first of all, it's on my spoon rods here. You'll see I've got one of my spoon downrigger rods here. And that particular one there, it's actually labeled 20 pound test. This particular rod, the way it's set up, I've got 25 pound monofilament filling pretty much the entire spool. spool. And then I've got a 30 foot section of this torpedo um, fluorocarbon here that I've tied on. And then I'll just have my torpedo snap swivel to a spoon. And I re reason being is I want, a, I want a lighter line because I don't want a heavier line really impacting the action of those spoons. And, and, and the torpedo 20 pound test, you know, if you ask me, works fantastic. I've pulled in fish in excess of uh, 20 pounds, no problem. The other w reason I use this, the 20 pound stuff is I use it on my slider rigs. So here is a, here I've got a slider rig here and this particular slider rig, it's 20 pound. Um, and that's where, you know, it's sliding on that downrigger line. And again, it's, it's, it's set up with a spoon. So my slider rigs, rigs, I also use 20 pound torpedo fluorocarbon. That's what I find uh, really advantageous for myself. Um, what I will do uh, in the description of this video, I am going to place a link to Torpedo's website so you can purchase this 20 pound um, test uh, fluorocarbon. You know, if I'm running spoons, it's really got a leader of this 20 pound test. Um, whether it be a slider, whether it be a leader that I'm using on, a, you know, a, a weighted steel or a lead core for a spoon, 20 pound. So that's the first thing. Now I'm going to get into the Seaguar products. And you'll see here, I've got three spools of, of Seaguar here that I'm, uh, that I'm using. Um, you know, and it really depends on, on the application. So I'm going to start out, first of all, with 
the 30 pound cigar. So a couple of things, before I get into the 30 pound uh, cigar, I'm gonna talk about why I like this particular cigar. This is the Cigar STS, and I will put links in the description to all the different weights that I, that I use on the Cigar STS. First of all, the Cigar STS, you'll see it's called STS Salmon, um, you know, and I think it's actually Salmon and Trout was what this was designed for. It, it's got great abrasion resistance, um, but the other thing I like uh, tremendously about this, it is really very affordable for what you get. You know, if I were to compare this, uh, you know, I call this the orange lab label of the STS to the Seagar Blue. Um, while a spool might be similar priced, the biggest difference is this orange label or STS, you get 100 yards. When you look at the blue label, you only get 25 yards. So you're getting four times the amount on a spool. Uh, and it's specifically designed for, for salmon and trout fishing, which is what we do on the, on the Great Lakes. So I'm a huge fan of this stuff. Um, I will have links in the description so you can purchase it right off of Amazon. That's where I buy mine. You know, I typically buy two, three spools at a time of the various weights. And that way I've got it all ready to go uh, when, I, when I need it on the boat. But let's talk 30 pound. When do I use 30 pound? I'd say I use it in really uh, two instances. First of all, um, earlier, in the, earlier in the season when I'm fishing for uh, kings, 30 pound is what I will make uh, my meat rigs uh, out of. Uh, reason being is... I find earlier in the spring, the water's cooler. It's often much clearer. Uh, so I, I go with a lighter test. That's the, that's the first reason I will use the, the 30 pound. The second way I use 30 pound, it's actually with my anchovy rigs. So you'll see here, hard to see there because of the light, but I have a, uh, an anchovy head right, right here. And this particular rig right here, this is uh, this is 30 pound and I like when I'm running a uh, anchovy head, or if I'm running a um, uh, you know a herring strip head. When I'm running them clean with no Twinkies, throughout the entire season, I'll be running uh, 30 pound clean. That's my setup, and I'm running this this Seaguar stuff when I do that. Later on in the season, as the the, the kings get larger, um, you know when they're staging, that's when I bump it up to the 40 pound test right here. So this is a Seaguar 40 pound. And the other reason I use the 40 pound, not only when it comes to those staging kings or those, you know, those larger kings later in the season when they start at the teeth, but I use uh, the 40 pound when I'm running Twinkie rigs. You know, all of my, uh, all of my the section that I run the Twinkies on, that's 40 pound test. What I like to do is I will run a, you know, four to five foot section, which has my Twinkie flies, then I'll run a small swivel, and then I'll actually run the section from the swivel to the hooks. I will actually then use that 30 pound that I was sh that I was showing you earlier for that small section. But the section that I run the Twinkie flies on that you see here, it's running the Seaguar 40 pound all the time. Plus, when the kings are staging, it's all about the 40 pound. Um, it's you know it's thicker, it's stronger, it's more abrasion resistance, especially when those kings have those gnarly teeth. Uh, later in the season. And then the last one, so I've talked about how I use 20 pound, use 30 pound and use 40 pound. The last one I use on my boat is this one right here. It's the 50 pound Seaguar. This I use for one application only, but it's a very, very important application. And it's for when I'm running a flasher fly here. Flasher flies on my boat, they all use 50 pound Seaguar STS fluorocarbon. The end. You know, why? There's a couple of reasons. But I'd say the number one reason is you want that you want that stiffer line without the stretch because you want it to put the action on the fly. This the tinsel flies we have here, they've got no action at all. If you just drag them along, you know, they won't do anything. You want to have a nice thick line, short, you know, your short leader. Typically it's about you know 22 to 26 inches. I like 24 inch leaders. You know, you want it to put as much action as possible. That's where the Seaguar 50 works. The other thing I would say about the uh, the Flasher Fly and why I like the 50 is um, the King's teeth are all over the line on a Flasher Fly. And therefore you want that extra abrasion resistance, that extra thickness um, because the, the, their teeth are on it. And that's where the 50 pound works extremely well. So you'll see, you know, it is not a, not a one size fits all. You know, myself, it's either 
it's either the torpedo or the uh, you know here we go the torpedo or the seagar. Those are the two fluorocarbons that I'm going to use on, on my particular boat. Um, 20 pound is the torpedo, and then anything above the 20 pound, whether it be 25, 30, 40, or 50, I'm running the Seaguar STS. Um, hope you find this video useful. If you do, please don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button. As I promised, I put links in this video to all the products I've talked about today. That will make it really easy for you to click on those links and to purchase them from your Amazon account or purchase them directly from Torpedo, uh, the Diver, Torpedo Divers website. Hope you find this valuable. I'll keep bringing more videos to you. And good luck on the water in 2022, folks. Have a great season. Talk to you later. Bye.